okay, this fly, this amazing popper is going to be the culmination of the previous four videos and weeks of practice using the Gary Krebs. Of course, I left all my tools at home, you know, this morning, so who knows how this is going to work out. So the first thing you want to do is, is make sure you get to do a good job attaching this thread. You would think, gosh, you can just, just whip this thing on a couple little bits of thread and you're fine, but guess what? If you don't, where's my zap gel? Chris, come it's on. stuck to your finger. It is stuck to my finger. <laughs> Put a little dab of zap, just the tiniest little dab, because otherwise you'll find yourself working with this popper and the darn materials will slip down the bend of the hook and you'll be going, oh, how could that happen? Okay, it happens. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to jazz up this tail a little bit. We're going to put on some crystal flash. Now, now if you wanted to attach a weed guard, you would you would do the mono right now. The Yes, that's correct. And then you'd carry it up front to the eye and you'd be done with it. That's correct. Um, so th this fly here could be a bass fly. I'm tying it as a coho and king salmon popper and you go ahead and laugh. So you can lash on a little bit of crystal flash, wrap a couple times, and then fold it back on itself. So you're going to take a picture of this popper in a salmon's mouth this fall? Yes, even if I have to catch the salmon on eggs, and then get the eggs out of the mouth and put the popper in, I'm, I'm catching a fish on this this fall. So there you have, you know, don't think it hasn't been done. Not by me. So let's, let's, let's put some rubber legs on here. Let's get some grizzly chartreuse rubber legs, and we'll do the same kind of thing here. We'll put a little bit on. We'll fold it over itself. And it, it's fine if they just go kind of sprouting in different directions. And I think that's... Let's use another kind, too. This is two-tone. This stuff is really cool. Enhancer legs. Enhancer legs. Pink, purple, pink. I'm going to... Okay, let's see. What am I going to do? I'm going to cut it there. Tie it in in the middle. In this case, I'm just going to loop it. Lash it on. So... So this, all this little flash and rubber gives wiggle. I tell you what, I have fished these things, and this beveled face, you pull that popper, it throws a little sheet of water that's so cool. Now, I want a skirt on here. Some, sometimes people will, um, and let me just tie a whip finish on here just to make sure. And it's always interesting to work around the rubber legs, but it can be done. So I'm going to use a Petagene Magic tool. I would actually prefer the... Uh, this is the Magnum tool. I prefer the smaller one, but, you know, this happened to be what was on the peg this morning. Please go in there. Come on. Please come loose. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Let's try this. My shepherd's hook. If I put a little dab of dubbing wax in there, it might help. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. I'm going to spin this up. We have other... If you Google, you know, Google... YouTube search, Caddis Fly Shop uh, on YouTube. We have videos on how to use this magic tool. And if you don't have one, you need you need to purchase three of the small size, seven of the large size to keep the economy going. And you need spares just in case the dog or cat eats them. But here's our skirting material. And we're going to hold our rear rubber legs out of the way. We're going to work our way around the front rubber legs and the thread. And we're going to 
And this is Arctic Fox. This, oh, pardon me. This is Humor Zonker Strip. Finnish Raccoon. A Finnish Raccoon, yes. Oh, okay. It's a little longer. Yeah, that, that's the whole point is to have it be a little bit longer. And we're having a few challenges... You know, I get very suspicious when I see fly tying videos. You know, who are these people that never have problems on camera? It's like, come on, stuff happens. They have better editors than me. <laughs> they have way better editors. Okay, see how this is going on there? Pretty nice. And then, so you hold this up, and you just keep your thread tight to that popper body and then what I actually should have done first I f but I forgot to because this is real time is wrap my thread around that dubbing loop thread several times and then I can trim that dubbing loop thread off and that thread is not going anywhere folks and there are a lot of color combinations that one can use. I mean, these cylinders come in a lot of different colors. That's of course, right. all the rest of the materials they come, come in. in. Black, white, red, olive, blue, yellow, and orange. And you can also color these foam popper bodies with um, markers, Sharpies. The nice thing about them is they're pretty light. I mean, casting this... So I've cast these things, and even the big ones, they cast really nicely. One whip finish. Trim your thread. Uh, if you have a bodkin, and I, you can apply thin head cement right there. So the only thing I, I would I think this is close to perfect. For me, perfect. I didn't quite get my... Um, my hair spun on there quite as... I, I like it a little bit bushier. I like it to look a little bit more, a little bit bushier like this, but I don't think the fish will mind either way. You got wiggle. This thing is going to throw water. It's got a great stinger hook on it. Uh, you name the species, you're going to catch them with this.